Hey guys, this is 182. Welcome back to Dan the Demo Man. In the last part, we defeated the Nebula Pillar and died to O1's army twice. In this part, I am going to get a blast one of those blasted snowman cannons. I have my updated invincibility machine. So only things that phase through blocks, uh, such as the uh, Everscream projectiles and the Ice Queen can get to me, so nothing can get trapped in there. I have my uh, Ring of Greed just so that uh, I pick up coins because there is a hard cap to how many things can drop. So I want to avoid that. I, there shouldn't be any problem, but just in case. Alright, it's time to boot it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. um, the heck is going on there? Okay. Anyway, so I'm gonna be using uh, fireball traps just to uh, get as many kills on the mooks. Uh, as possible. Uh, once the Ice Queen shows up, my strategy is going to change completely. To one that works during the Uh, one that works during the pumpkin moon. The invincibility box has been working so far. Okay, switching strategies a bit. It's gonna go one, two, three, four, five. I need to get through these early waves as fast as possible. And the ever the oh no 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 at least the elf copter's not hurting me but Why is the elf copter able to phase through blocks? Like, really? There's no reason I can think of. What they what it, they should have done was come in, found that there was a wall they sh that they couldn't pass, and then not pass. I, as long as I'm not taking damage, I can't afford to do anything about it. Because if I try to do something about it, then it opens me to getting hit by bosses. Dang blasted elf copters. And there's literally nothing I can do to them. Okay, right now I might be able to kill them, but it's just too risky. The heck is wrong with the frost moon?
like... Ugh. And of course, the bosses take significantly longer to kill. than the pumpkin moon ones do. So, I mean, I haven't even gotten to the point where Ice Queen starts spawning. I'm still not there. the heck? I got a chain gun. I mean, that's a thing. should be working significantly better than it is. Again, I'm... 11%... Oh, shoot. I know what's causing the issue. Yeah, it's the, it was the blasted elf copters. Oh my. So what I have to do is wait until the bosses are not currently life-threatening, then kill all the elf copters, because they count towards the completion of the wave. Wave 10. Wave 10 still isn't Ice Queen. I think she shows up at Wave 11. So I'm not even going to get to the Ice Queen. I think that... I'm starting to think maybe the change in my strategy was bad. Yes, it was definitely a bad change in strategy. Although, I really wish I could just get a little more power behind the Flame Burst staff. But, I... I, I can't. Uh, w w at least not without switching to a weaker armor. Which then renders the invincibility box uh, non functional. Uh. I do have an elf copter banner, right? Yeah. So I really have no means of dealing more damage. 
other than rendering my invincibility box uh, useless. Hey look, Ice Queen! Hey look, Ice Queen's gonna be gone in 10 seconds because it's almost daytime. Yep. Oh. That was annoying. And I'm not sure what I could do to speed up. to speed up uh, damage dealing. Chain gun, doesn't matter. Christmas tree sword I showed off before. It... It uh, shoots ornaments. Which I wish they were explosive, but they're not. Gingerbread man, elf archer... Gingerbread man. Uh, elf archer and zombie elf already have. Uh. The thing is, I really, really want the snowman cannon before, before Moon Lord. But, since that's not going to happen... I, I do have to be wary, because... Ooh, that chest is full. Because, if I fail... then I will have to beat the lunatic cultist again. So should I do it? This is a legitimately tricky question, because there are a number of benefits of getting the Stardust Fragments regardless of uh, whether I'm successfully able to beat the Moon Lord or not. Well, I think I should at least... I think I should at least uh, take care of take uh, removing the shield of the stardust pillar if i accidentally summon moon lord then i accidentally summon moon lord all right here we are stardust pillar
Alright. So, the Stardust Pillar's shield is down. So, once I die... Yep. Um, that will, ooh, I'm going to be doing a lot of speeding up. So next part, okay, first off, uh, off camera, I'm going to be doing some more grinding on the frost moon, fine tuning my, uh, invincibility box, seeing how I can fix it. Or more specifically, make it such that I'm able to complete the Frost Moon. Which I'm not necessarily looking forward to. I am looking forward to having the Snowman Cannon. I don't want to take on Moon Lord without it. Uh, al al um, although my arena would work, it should work in theory. Oh, the better method. There is a better method that involves making a whole skyline, but I'm not doing that. The elf copters. I just uh, elf copters. I mean, what's up with them? Anyway, we attempted the frost moon, found out my invincibility box didn't work, and then to vent, I went and basically beat the stardust pillar. I mean. Killing the pillar itself is a formality. Uh, as I am sure you have noticed, they go down rather easily. Anyway, this has been 18.2, and I will see you guys next time.